Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cars and Crafts. We're going to do some fun uh, cosmetic work on the Yamaha Grizzly, aka Bella. But first, I wanted to show you some awesome things that have happened recently. I've hit 500 subscribers on Cars and Crafts, and that's all thanks to you guys. So, thank you very much for subscribing. Just doing an oil change on the Scion. My sister has a thing for mushrooms, and I put these two scraps of metal together and thought, hey, that kind of looks like a mushroom. So I asked her if she wanted mushrooms for Christmas, and so I offered to weld these springs and rotors together and sandblast the rotors. And she said she wants to paint them, and I don't mind that at all because she'll get what she wants in that case. But I thought you guys like to see that. Today we're going to be doing a full paint job on Bella and the kids are going to get involved making stickers and installing the stickers so I hope you enjoy what's coming but before we do that I want to show you some clips from our recent camping trips in Utah. Hope you enjoy. Hiking to the top of Bald Mountain sure was fun. Hey, if you guys have ever uh, visited any of these spots uh, in Utah or would like to in the near future, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Um, I, lo I love traveling, we love camping, and just love showing you guys this kind of stuff we do. So I hope you enjoy today's episode. So I went ahead and prepped these panels so I can paint them. I cleaned them and then I scuffed them with 400 and then I scuffed them by hand on the edges where I couldn't get with a red Scotch-Brite pad. And then I blew them off, cleaned them again, this time with plastic cleaner and now I've sprayed them with plastic adhesion promoter. So now they're ready for a sealer coat and the color coat and then the clear after that.
painted and cleared and looking pretty. Let's take a look. Here's the gas tank cover. <clears throat> Front fender. Rear fender. I think it's going to look pretty sweet when it's all put together. Now keep in mind I'm going to have some stickers made that will go on there so it doesn't look so plain, but um, she's starting to look good. I'm excited. Right now I've got the boys helping me out making stickers. We're just doing a simple clip art on the computer and erasing things and drawing things. and. Uh, later we're going to have the girls do a sticker a piece as well and so we'll have four stickers one for each fender and it'll just be something cute that they come up with the boys have their stickers pretty much done now does the bear have a name Price and Hazard's coming. Good. It's no longer on fire, but it's creating fire, so that's good. Nice. The girls are working on their stickers, and they're almost done. Looks like Bridget has a fox on her ATV, and Macy has a polar bear. Nice. So you have an idea of how I'm doing these stickers. I'm using StickerU.com and save your file as a PNG so your panel will show through in these clear sections here if you want clear stickers if you don't want clear stickers then you can use other options there but it looks like each of my stickers is going to cost about eleven to twelve dollars which is fine fits in my budget um, make sure you have it measured correctly I measured my panels in five inches by four and a half or four and a quarter will fit just fine and there's all different sorts of stickers you can make so have fun with it the other thing you need to remember with these clear stickers is a lot of the white on your stickers won't show up on the sticker when you upload it so like the underside of this fox here is clear uh, they have a section for special instructions so I wrote the underside of the fox should be white not clear hopefully they get that and make the correction we'll see cross your fingers All right. okay so what are we gonna do today put the stickers on the ATV yeah <laughs> Yep, so each kid has a sticker and in, in there, and we're going to slap them on the fenders. Each each yeah. kid gets a fender. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Okay, hey, we're going to do Macy's first. Okay, 
my okay. Right here. And there's my little sticker. Alright, so these two wheels need to be even with that line. Thank you. Push from the inside to the out. It pushes the bubbles out. Okay, this is a transfer sticker. This is the name of our project here, Polar Bear Express. And what you do is you take the two pieces apart and the sticker is stuck on it backwards. And you get this part wet with water and alcohol mix. It's like 10% alcohol, water mix, you get your surface wet as well, and then figure out where you're going to place it. Press down on it when it's right where you want it. It gets all the water out and all the bubbles out. And once it's all squeegee and you get all the bubbles out, you just peel it off. Just take it slow in case you missed a spot and it starts to peel the sticker off. You can stop and do some more squeegeeing. There it is. Now we'll do the left side of the ATV. Hi Bryson. Hello. So we're gonna put Bryson's sticker on now. We run into a little bit of a problem here. It was off to get it to fit yeah. here. What do you think? Should we put it sideways, unlike the other ones, or cut a little bit of the flames off? Yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah, you could just put it like this. in the middle and work your way to the outsides to get the bubbles out. Okay. Yeah, what do you good. what do you think about the rest of it? Oh, it looks really good. I like the color you chose. What about the gas tank? Oh, oh yeah. Really nice. Where'd you come up with Polar Bear Express? You guys, you guys came up with that. Alright, one of these days we'll have to take it out when it's not so cold. See how it does. 
The wheels are ready to paint. I'm going to paint them black. Watch. Whoosh. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. And don't forget, always stay crafty. Bye. Licking me. Daddy. Oops. Miles, that's not so bad. You guys didn't think I would leave without showing you the final product, did you?